वेलकम टू मेड लैक्टो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वाइटामिन के वाइटामिन के बेसिकली ए फैट सोलेबल वाइटामिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ द वाइटामिन के एंड इट्स डेरिवेटिव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइलोक्यून दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल द वाइटामिन के वन सो दिस फॉर्म ऑफ द वाइटामिन बेसिकली इज ए प्लांट सोर्स this form of the vitamin is actually the plant source okay that's the most important thing if we look at the structures of the phylloquinone so we will see that two benzene ring here is a benzene ring one and two but at the second benzene ring you will see the attachment of two oxygen molecules okay and at that side you will see the presence of the methyl group okay but the most important thing is that side here is you will see the long chains of the hydrocarbon side chain in this chain you will see the four methyl group 1 2 3 and the four and last that is the ending methyl group okay at the starting point you will see the presence of the double bond here is the presence of the double bond okay so that's the most important structure of the phylo you know okay if we do compare the structures of the vitamin k1 or you can say phylo you know with the melaquinone or you can say vitamin k2 so if you see here there are different forms of the melaquinone if you see here this is structured there are basically the two benzene ring okay at the second ring you will see the attachment of the two oxygen molecule and at that side you will see the presence of the methyl group okay and last you will see the most important the side chain that's the point of difference between the different forms of the vitamin k so in that situation again you will see the presence of the different methyl groups okay that's the most important thing and that actually looks similar to the previous one but the point of difference is actually the presence of the double bond at each point you will see the presence of the double bond four double bond but in the previous one you will see the presence of one double bond but in the second case you will see the presence of the four double bond okay that's the most important thing okay that is actually called the mena quinone four okay similarly mena quinone that is vitamin k2 also exist at other form the ring structure will be similar to the previous one okay but the side chain will be different so in that situation you will see the presence of the seven group 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the seven okay and you will see at each point you will see the presence of the double bond 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 okay that's the most important thing that is actually called the mena quinon 7 okay here is the different forms of the mena quinon or you can say vitamin k2 okay important thing uh, at the corners if you see at the corners you will see the carbon presence of the carbon that's the most important thing that is actually the structure forms of the compound so at the corner you will see the presence of the carbon atom okay if you look at the three structures so in that situation i can write this side chain with the r okay alkyl group okay and and that situation instead of writing the whole structure i can write it with the r similarly again with the r okay that's the most important thing okay in all the structure you will see the ring structure will be similar but the point of difference will be the side chain okay in the melaquinone you will see the presence of the double bond and in the uh, phylloquinone you will see just one double bond here is basically the vitamin k1 and the vitamin k2 if we see the vitamin k3 that is the menadione so in that situation the ring structure will be similar to the previous one here if you see the ring structure will be similar to the previous one okay but in that situation you will see there is no side chain there is no side chain 
that is actually basically the synthetic form of the vitamin that is the synthetic form okay and this is the plant source and this is the bacterial source intestinal bacteria actually produce the k2 form of the vitamin k so plant source bacterial source and the synthetic source k k3 can be convert into the k2 how because the ring structure basically similar but the point of difference is actually the this alkyl group that the long chain if i just add the long chain hydrocarbon chain alkyl chain then this will become the k2 so synthetic form can be able to convert into the k2 form okay if we see the different derivatives of the vitamin k so if you look at the hydroquinone vitamin k hydroquinone so ring structure will be similar but there is some changes okay so actually you will see the presence of the oh group hydroxyl group instead of the presence of the oxygen at each side you will see the presence of oxygen here is the oxygen and here is the oxygen but in the hydroquinone you will see the presence of the hydro oh group hydroxyl group that's the one different okay second you will see the presence of two double bond here is the presence of two double bond but in the previous rings you will see the only the one double bond in the second ring okay and i write it with the r r represent the long chain that can be either phylloquinone and the manoquinone okay that is hydroquinone that is the intermediate if we discuss in the we will discuss the hydroquinone in the upcoming lecture that how hydroquinone forms from the uh, different uh, vitamin k2 and the vitamin k1 okay and last is the epoxide form of the vitamin k so in the epoxide the ring will be similar but the difference will be the presence of the oxygen so in the oxygen you will see oxygen directly attached to the carbons of the ring that is actually the epoxide form so but the difference is actually double bond is removed and you will see the attachment of the oxygen and the alkyl group will be similar so here are basically the different hydroquinone and the epoxide form of the vitamin k so here are basically the different forms of the vitamin k that are actually helpful in the post translational modifications of the proteins we will discuss it in upcoming lecture so this is all about vitamin k if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much